Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In this video, I'll show you that how we'll analyze a beam. I mean for a simply supported beam. And after that, I will go for design. So let's start. And if, if you're new here, you can watch our previous video to clear your basic. So let's start. First of all, I'll open Estate Pro software and after that I'll go here new project so from here I'll select a space and foot kilo pound I've, I've shown you that why we'll select that and what is the criteria so to understand that you have to watch our previous video so beam analysis Design beam analysis and design, then go next and from here add beam. So finish. Suppose in this video, we will draw a beam that is 10 feet long. So, so from here. We can select that from here. If we select first of all that point, then directly go and 10 for that point. After that, if you go here, snap node or beam, then you'll see that here is the beam of 10 meter long. Sorry, 10 feet long. If we uh, go here dimension. Sorry, here. Here. It's 10 feet. After that, you can press here to remove the node distance. So after that we have draw that after that we will define our support from, from support base we will create. Now here is the important thing as I have told you that we will draw a simply supported beam for, so for simply supported beam we have to do that manually here is the pin first of all fixed that is the pin pinned so for pinned we'll add support to is the pin support again create now we have to do a roller support so for roller support we know that it's only work for rate resisting wide direction force so from here there have many way fixed but and here enforced here enforced but so from here by using enforced but will provide that condition so we know that here there are a point release are really -E release I mean who is force or moment will not carry by it so we know that for roller support it's only carry FY I mean force in Y direction so we'll release every other thing then add here so for support 2 we'll select the node and assign to selected node assign yes here is the for support 2 and support 3 again we'll select here select the node button node cursor and select select to assign to selected node then assign yes 
because it's showing that it's showing uh, reaction according to white reaction now we can go here editor simply supported beam after that we have to define our materials property so we'll go here property page after that we'll go ahead define and from here rectangle or circular and we can select as uh, we are not going to design that only we're going to analysis or simply supported beam with point load in this video I will use only for point load so it's rectangle okay on feet into one feet or on point five feet I mean 18 inch into 12 inch so add metals property should be concrete at cross after that select that and assign to view because they have only one beam that's why we can assign to view assign yes it's our if we go here for 3d mode if we go here for 3d mode it say or be close that also close that after that again we'll go here for geometry mode here after that we'll assign load for it so go load page from here load case detail so click here load case then add here live load load case 1 for dead load load case 2 close that so for 1 again add here member load here they have uh, self weight load minus 1 self weight load minus 1 add here member load for member load uh, in this video I'll not use self load I'll delete that I'll just use concentrate load for concentrate load so here member load for member load here concentrated force or concentrated moment so concentrated force it's P P equal to suppose 10 keep and there is the important thing where at how much distance the load will apply so here they have two point first of all d1 and then sorry d1 and d2 so d d2 represent the corner point of the beam i mean that point it represent that point and here d1 here d1 represent the distance respect to d1 d2 how will be the distance suppose here d2 will be 0 we'll consider that the d2 pointer that point so d2 will be 0 and d1 the distance of d1 will be suppose uh, 5 feet at 5 feet distance we'll apply that load in zero direction and our load will be minus 10 because opposite of y direction then add then add close that so here for that we have to here here the load so we have to select on that beam but we can easily assign that by using assign to view because they have only one beam so assign to view select that load and assign to view then assign yes you are showing that that is the load 
middle point of it by using here we can see that there is the load of 10 kips 10 kip load that is the 10 kip load so that is a point load if we go in 3d mode there is a beam if we go in geometry mode now if we go for load for our 10 key plot now close that and after that we'll go here analysis sorry we'll go here analysis perform analysis low print okay then analysis run analysis press run analysis it's showing one or more empty load case are detected as we have not provide any load for load case 2 press yes save it's done it's showing zero earning so okay then we'll go here go to post processing mode so done for load case on and to both here okay so if we go here this for displacement and if we go here for reaction we can see that for y direction for that point it's showing 5 key blocks and for that point it's showing 5 key plot and that should be it should be 5 key 5 key plot in both side cause we have provided our concentrate load at middle point of the beam now if we go here share it's showing the share press control and rotate here scroll button and press it and if we go for moment sorry moment in z moment for z so here is the moment here is the moment button and the value of it for the action if we go here for the action it's showing moment in Z direction 600 so our procedure are done in this way we can done our procedure and we can analyze our beam like that way. so in our next video I'll show you that how we'll analyze this for our column so thank you, thank you very much. Stay well, stay connected till next.